What is up everybody? It is me, Protector of NYC. Now, check this out. We're playing today. Or not even playing. But I'm gonna just wanna show you something that's kinda got out of hand. It's called the Paragon. And the problem about it is, is that Paragon is now not the game that you see on the front cover. Look at this thumbnail. You see the five main guys, and that's cool. There's no problem with that. You see this beautiful kind of fantasy background, right? Then you look on the bottom. If you see where it says learn more about the monolith, that's the new map. So I'm going to show you guys the new map. <clears throat> Alright, so to the developers of the game... I just want to say that you guys did a good job when it comes down to the new AI or a new UI, sorry. Now, we're going to take a look. You see, you got your basic menus, you got the store. The store menu is pretty fresh too, I ain't going to lie. I like the themes, I like the colors. The colors are more friendly towards colorblind people. Thanks for being colorblind friendly. And if you go down to your profile, this is cool. I don't understand what it is yet, but hey, I'm a loot crate type thing where you get unique rare cards. Um, the character selection, the decks, very, very friendly. Now, for people who are watching this for how to build a deck, all right, don't get discouraged when you see see numbers like this. Some because the way the decks are built now, it kind of almost made situational. I, I don't know how to put it. Maybe there's better cards out there. Maybe I'm building my decks wrong. But here's how you build the deck, and don't don't get discouraged when you see it. Now, in the game, in the previous update, they had two things called energy and physical. But they can't, they said, this is too complicated. We're going to just make it all one stat now called power. Power is technically how much damage you do based upon nothing. Just how much damage you do. And they took away energy. No, they, they have a ability pen, basic pen. Now, fun fact about this. Ability penetration and energy pen or basic pen are not what you think they were from the last update. In the last update, they were based upon your actual character's damage. But now, they're meant for your character and the way you use them. So if you're a basic attack person and you're focusing on basic attacks, then you would do basic pen, meaning you would do a attack with power attack power and crit now if you're focusing on ability ability you'll be focusing harder on ability po uh, power you'll be focusing harder on power and probably that's it because the reason why they did this is uh, they separated the characters now some moves are ability based while other characters are basic based and it's so complicated, but it's almost simple at the same time. They took away the harvesters. They have a new form of the harvesters in the game. And note for the devs, please put the harvesters back. I don't like this whole amber link thing. Because what you're doing is, essentially, you're just making it harder. And what, it's just, I don't know. Sadly, I play with a crew. This crew loves your game devs. You, this crew loves Paragon. Why is it that you decided to add a new map to it, but take away the old map? The map that we know and love. It is almost common fact at this point that MOBAs, and I mean, yeah, this is a third person MOBA, but still, it's almost a common fact that MOBAs usually have one map and an array of characters, a really beautiful range of characters. 
but essentially you just took that away. You took away that one map to add a new map. And I understand this is a beta, but this game been in beta for two years. And maybe I'm a little over exaggeration, but at the end of the day, this is kind of quite excessive. Now, you guys took away half of the stuff we know and love to swap it out, to make things a lot better for other characters, you know, so you can use cards that you haven't used on a character, which gives you a little bit more freedom, but was it worth it to lose the respect of people? So we're over here and look at this. What is this? You have your core, people flying out of the, their own spawn. Then you have your three inhibitors, and they're so close to each other. Why? I understand it's good for defense, but what is the purpose of having the three inhibitors next to each other, next to the core? Do you understand what that does? That allows people to bum rush from one inhibitor to the core, without any chance of fighting minions. And yeah, you guys may have made minions more OP. I mean, in the beginning, the minions don't even spawn. Look how fast they're fighting. They could tear somebody's apart. It's not even right. But you guys said, oh, we're going to update the game. We're going to make it that you guys will have to be close combat and whoever wins the middle battle, quote, this is a quote, this is a quote, middle lane will dictate the way the battle is going. And what an amber link is, is that when people go jungling now, the XP will go travel to the amber link. The amber link will then set it out, spread it to the team. And what this does is, this intentionally makes jungling a lot better for the teammates. But now here's the next question. You guys said add more minions instead of increasing that level. But what does this do? Does this give the same amount of XP as it normally did before? Or are you getting less and taking more time? You guys have added new buffs to the game, which is cool and whatnot, but I don't necessarily see their use. You made the towers smaller, but you also made the range smaller. Pretty much, this whole game is to accommodate the map. This whole update wasn't an update to the characters themselves, but to the gameplay. Now something I don't like, why is it that when I'm running through the jungle, my character doesn't put his sword on his back and he runs faster? You have low nerfed my movement speed. For what though? No, oh, that's not fair. Um, I appreciate that you guys made uh, Grux's animation a lot faster too, that's awesome. Essentially, you just made everything better, everything faster. But this update wasn't for us, it was for the game. And that's what matters at the end of the day. Because you took away what we know and love, and now we're upset. So, with that being said, my final words to the devs are... I don't, I don't even want to do this. Make Paragon great again. And well, boys, with that being said, I'm probably not going to play Paragon anymore. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below and let me know how you feel about this update. Remember that everything that I stated is just an opinion, but with relatively correct facts. With that, peace.